Hello everyone, my name is Doug Hills and this is the Manga Studio Guide. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about how you can take tools from Manga Studio 4 and import them into Manga Studio 5. This is a function I pretty much stumbled upon as I was looking through the various palette submenus in the program, so I couldn't really tell you how long this function has been in Manga Studio. That said, I was really happy to find out how easy the process is to migrate tools. Essentially, I just check off what tools I want to bring over, and the program does the rest. To do this, I click on the Tools Palette submenu located in the upper left corner of the palette. Then I select Migrate Tool Preferences from Manga Studio 4. And this brings up the Migrate Tool Preferences dialog box. Before I can start importing anything, I need to let the program know where the Manga Studio 4 program and user data folders are located. While the program has what is it assumes are the locations for both, it might not be correct. The first time I tried doing this, I used the default settings here and I got an error message saying it couldn't find the information. So, I'm going to suggest you manually enter the locations for both bits of information should you run into the same error message. So, first I'll locate the user data folder. I click refer, and I navigate to where the Manga Studio 4 user data folder is located. Generally, the folder should be located in your documents or my documents folder under Smith Micro. I find the Smith Micro folder, select Manga Studio 4 settings, and I press open. Next up, I select the location of the program. By default, it's looking for Manga Studio 4 EX, but really either version of the program can be used. So in this example, I'll use my copy of Manga Studio 4 Debut, which is located in the Mac's Application folder. In Windows, it'll be located in the Program Files folder. So I select the Manga Studio 4 Debut Executable, and I press Open. Now I just select the type of tools I want to bring into the program. So as you can see, I can choose practically any of the tools that are included in Manga Studio 4. Pens, pencils, erasers, gradients, vector correction, and so on. All I have to do is just check off which tools I want. I'll select a couple of different tools here like pen, line tools, pattern brush, and pencil, and then I press OK. Generally the import process is fairly quick, but because I selected the pattern brush, the program needs extra time to import all the patterns and materials that go with the various brushes. And one jump cut later, here are my selected Manga Studio 4 tools. I have my pens, pencils, pattern brushes, and various line and shape tools. And from here, I just do a bit of reorganizing. For example, I like to keep all my line and shape tools together, so I select each tool set, starting with the curve tools here, and then I just drag the subtool folder onto the line tool. And I repeat this process for each tool set until all my line and shape tools are grouped together. I'll group the MS4 pens in with my other pens, and I'll rename that set by clicking the subtool palette submenu and selecting settings of subtool group. I enter in a new name, MS4, and there we go. Going through the pattern brush tool, you can see all the patterns associated with each brush have been properly imported. So now I have additional materials that I can use in Manga Studio 5. I can also take advantage of the additional options that Manga Studio 5 tools offer and make a few changes to the behavior of the MS4 brushes in the subtool detail window. I'll keep it simple in this exercise by turning off stabilization and line tapering on my brush pen, but I could theoretically tweak it further than I ever could have in MS4. All of the options that the stock MS5 brushes have are here at my disposal with these MS4 brushes. And finally, let's say that I decide I don't want to keep the pencil tools. I'm not going to be able to remove the tool all at once. What I have to do is select and delete each pencil subtool until the tool set is no more. Now, the only tool option I have not been able to figure out is text style. I did test out trying to import this, but to be honest, I don't know exactly what it does. It doesn't create a new text tool, nor does it seem to change the settings of MS5's text tool. If I figure it out, I'll be sure to add a note to the video. In the meantime, it just seems to be a tool that you can skip trying to migrate. Now, I have heard on a few occasions how people who have been making the switch from Manga Studio 4 to Manga Studio 5 have missed some of 4's tools. With this function now available, making the switch from 4 to 5 will hopefully make this transition a bit easier. And one last thing, all the palettes in the program have their own specific submenus. So if you didn't know that these submenus existed, I'd suggest clicking through a few of them. You may find a few functions you didn't know existed, like migrating Manga Studio 4 tools into Manga Studio 5. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this episode of the Manga Studio Guide, which was brought to you by supporters like the ones you see here, as well as this episode's featured supporter, Seven. If you would like to help me keep these videos free for everyone, you can pledge as little as a penny per video through Patreon, or you can purchase books, rulers, page templates, or throw some money in the tip jar through my online store. And if you don't have any money, no worries. Subscribe to the Manga Studio Guide on YouTube, Tell your friends. Spread the word about this series to anyone that you feel would find it helpful. Every little bit helps me out, and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you all for your support and for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.